Welcome violin friends. I'm going to show you how to achieve a good left hand position which will make your playing better, help you to play in tune and feel comfortable. So first of all let's just have a quick look at what it should look like. I'm going to just move the violin around a little bit so that you can see different angles of what I'm trying to achieve and then I'll show you how to get to that position. OK, so I'm taking my hand off the violin and showing you that I've got this sort of crab shape with all the fingers bent. And then I'm going to put it on the violin towards the end of the fingerboard. I'm going to make sure that my thumb is not too high and it's not too low. It needs to have a gap between the violin fingerboard and uh, that notch in the between the first uh, finger and the thumb there so if it's too high the violin is resting in the notch if it's too low the thumb has disappeared so it needs to be about there the point is that i want my fingers to be over the strings so thumb too high they're way above the violin uh, bring the thumb down so they're just hovering over the strings OK, so here's another angle. I've got my hand out to the side. Now I'm going to rotate it so that again the fingers are over the strings. OK, can you see that movement? It involves mainly a movement from the upper arm, from the shoulder joint. OK, I'll just show you another view of it and the fingers are hovering nicely over the string so that whenever I drop a finger onto the string it hasn't got very far to go at all and I'm able to get my little finger down on the string the fourth finger so that's the hand out to the side swing it over the strings drop the fingers onto the strings the other reason for having a notch in here is so that eventually when you learn to change position on the violin your hand can slide up and down very easily. If it's in the notch it just gets a little bit stuck doing that. That's all. Good luck. Mm -hmm. 